One of the most exciting things that happened for us in the past few months is ChatGPT and the ability to have those very large AI language models. This is the milestone we've been waiting for to establish uh, Qualcomm as an AI company. The reality is when you think about those things, you want to generate any image that you want to share with somebody, you want to do that in real time. Think about what Microsoft is doing with search and you want to you chat with the search results for you to make all of that happen, you can't run everything on the data center. You're gonna have to bring the AI to the devices. And, and the ability to create that much processing power in a smartphone and run that without compromising a battery life is something that only Qualcomm can do. And I think the demonstration, it's actually the most popular demo we have in MWC, is people want to go create those images and it all runs on a smartphone. You can put it on airplane mode and the smartphone alone will be able to run those large language models. And Cristiano, look, those on-device AI capabilities are going to be key as we look beyond the smartphone. And that's a lot of the chat here is what comes next. And many of the big tech players think, well, it's all about mixed reality. That is the next big paradigm shift in computing as the smartphone was. Uh, you're obviously uh, in the chip space for mixed reality and, and an interesting partnership briefly announced uh, in February between yourself, Samsung and Google. Just give us a bit more insight into that, because a lot of people are wondering, what are you guys up to? And actually, when are we going to see the first device from you three come to the market? Very good. Look, there is this, this trend that is happening, which is the merger of physical and digital spaces. And that's going to happen uh, you know, everywhere. So we invested for more than a decade. Every single device, there are about 60 plus devices of virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality. They're all using Qualcomm chipset. And we have been working with our partners, of course, Meta, Samsung, and Google, uh, in order to build those devices. I expect that the next computing platform is going to be glasses. I can see a scenario that you're going to have your companion glasses to your phone, and eventually you're just going to have the glasses. And the potential is incredible. Today, when you, you see most people holding their phones like that, you are limited by the size of the screen. There's so much processing power in the phones, and with glasses, and if they start to look like that, you, you have a world of possibility. So it's going to happen, it's coming very soon, and uh, hopefully everyone will have a glasses, a companion to their phone.